Evolutionists claim the Earth and the universe are millions and billions of supposed years old. The Bible and science show that it's only 6,000 years old. How can I say that? Evolutionists believe in the God of random chance. They believe that if you throw the dice long enough, you will win. However, I think all of us do know that if you threw the dice long enough, you're going to lose. Here's a little simple example. What is the possibility, mathematically, that evolution could be true? We can actually disprove evolution mathematically, as well as biologically, astronomically, geologically, paleontologically. Now, just to remind us, if I, for instance, write the number 10 with the number 2 above the upper right-hand corner, that's 10 squared, or 10 times 10, which equals 100, or 3 above the upper right-hand corner is 10 cubed, or 10 times 10 times 10 equals 1,000. Now just reminding ourselves of that, then let's write the number 10 with the number 23 above the upper right-hand corner. That's the number of known stars in the known universe. It's not all the stars in the universe, it's just the ones we know about. And if we write the number 10 with the number 80 above it, as we see here, well, that's the number of atoms in the known universe. Or if we write the number 10 with the number 82 above it, a 1 followed by 82 zeros, that is the number of electrons in the known universe. Again, not all the atoms, not all the electrons, just the ones we know about. And if you would write the number 10, and above the upper right-hand corner, write the number 97. That is the number of subatomic particles in the entire known universe. Again, not all of them, just the ones we know about. Now, let's think. What is the chance that a tornado could go through a junkyard and create a Boeing 747 ready to fly, or that the proteins of a single amoeba could arise by chance? Well, please write the number 10, and above the upper right-hand corner, write the number 40,000. A 1 followed by 40,000 zeros. Now, just to envision for a moment, uh, a tornado going through a junkyard in assembly of Boeing 747 ready to fly. Well, first you have to believe that the parts were already there to begin with, and that you're only assembling parts that already exist, but the evolutionists cannot tell us where the parts came from, and they cannot tell us how the parts assemble themselves. You see, you really can disprove evolution mathematically, and you really can prove that the Bible is telling the truth. You really can trust the Bible about a creation 6,000 years ago.